All right, man, back at it again, man. I, I hit the wrong button and it um stopped the video. <clears throat> so somehow I'm going to try to figure out how to add them. If not, you just get two videos how to service a club car DS. All right. Take the clamps loose. And spin this, kind of break it loose. I can break this side loose first. Got it broke loose from the fuel line. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, whenever you change the fuel filter, uh, be careful sometimes because you can pull too hard and break the plastic fuel pumps. <clears throat> and whoever says they haven't broke a fuel pump, um, they haven't done, they haven't changed enough. Fuel filters. All right, man. Uh, the fuel filter part goes toward the fuel tank. Slider on there. Slider on there. Make sure your clamps. All right. And one thing you want to do is make sure that you. Remember to turn this drain, this, this, this valve back on. Um, Happens to the best of I've done them a couple times. Forget about it. Then you go to drive it down the road, and guess what? You run out of gas. All right, and then I'm going to... Pour some oil in this bad boy. Now, I'm going to give you a little tip now. Um, see the old, see the old, uh, you, we use 1030 Napa. See the old, uh, <clears throat> the quarter oil. When you pour it, don't pour it like this because you it, it would create air and gurp on you. So pour it like this here. That way it catches air from the top and it don't allow it to gurp. And what I mean by gurp, it, it catches air and then it makes a mess everywhere. Now I know somebody's going to talk crap and say, look, I didn't change the oil filter first. <clears throat> but guess what? I'm not going to crank the engine up and the oil filter is above the engine. So the oil I'm putting in is not going to go in the filter. But come on, Karen's, bring it on. Somebody gonna say something. Nah, man, just joking, man. Trying to have a little fun. It holds 1.3 quarts, but being lifted sometimes, you would have to add a little more to it because the way the engine tilts back in these. Let's see here. Let's check her and see. And add a little more. Like I said, pour the oil like this. All right, right now I've got a quart and a, 17 ounces. So a quart and a little over half. All right, you wanna check it? Now always go by, if you look there, you can see right there is a low point. Your fuel marks are here. The, the top dot is your fuel mark. But if you'll take it and do like I did, fill it over about an eighth of an inch. And what that'll do whenever you crank the engine up and suck oil into the oil filter, um, it'll be on the right level of, with the right amount of oil. Here's the oil filter number. If you want to go to Napa and get your oil filter from Napa, um, you can go to Napa and get you a Pro Select 21394 oil filter. 213944 will be the correct oil filter for this cart. 
We have the same type that fits the Easy Go. That fits the Easy Go with the Kawasaki engines. All that. They all carry the same wall filter. And then what I'm gonna do is take a, take a rag, put a rag under the old filter. Put a rag under the old filter that way. <clears throat> if any, when the old filter leaks because it's sitting sideways, the rag will catch it. And uh, I like using these three these three jaw pullers. Um, I bought this one from Snap On. But you can buy them from Harbor Freight, Park Store, um, and they all do the same thing. Now, they're kind of tricky to work with to begin with, but a lot of people don't realize you don't have to heat man the oil filter back on. The oil ring seals it. All right, so I'm going to take the oil filter off. All right. <clears throat> Make sure when you change the oil filter that the O-ring on this here comes off. I've seen it before. This sticks onto the block. So whenever you stick the oil filter back on there, it's blowing oil out. Then take you some oil, lubricate your O-ring. And take the bad boy. Normally, I just hand tighten them. I go to hand tight, all right, and plus a quarter turn. All right. All right, man, that's all you want. Know. I'm going to show you this button and jump conclusion. And then you want to change the air filter. This is kind of aggravating as hell because of the way, the where they put it at. What you want to do, undo your clips here. Pull up on this, and you see your air filter in there. And then you want to take it. And try to get a corner of the old filter, the air filter out. 